Join me as I give an end of season report on our coach, Unai Emery. Hi everybody, welcome into another episode of Arsenal Fan Circle. The channel that gives you just that little bit more. Um, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscriber button, uh, the bell notification, and smash the like button. And thank you to the new subscribers that have just come on board with me. Um, this has been a full and difficult season as an Arsenal fan. We all know that we've missed out on a few opportunities to attain top four. We could go through the whole season uh, where we messed up, where we misstepped, and particularly in the last month there um, versus Everton, versus Crystal Palace, versus Brighton. Uh, very heartbreaking. But we need to move forward from this situation. And this is a video about Unai Emery and how he's done this season. Um, we all remember the first press conference where he was using uh, English and his English was not fluent, but we all gave him a lot of credit for actually stepping up to the podium um, to do a press conference in a language that is not your own. You're not used to that language. So I give him a huge amount of credit for that. He promised that he would make the team more competitive, work harder. And we saw a different attitude, a better attitude from most of the squad. We saw a, hard, a work ethic that uh, was definitely improved from previous years. And it borne fruit in terms of a 22 game unbeaten run, which maybe we punched a little bit above our weight, increased expectations. But no bad thing. Um, against the top teams, we performed quite well especially against Tottenham, Chelsea, Manchester United. If you take away that Stamford Bridge game, the second game in the season where we really should have gotten at least a draw, if not a win, then we went unbeaten versus those teams. We beat Tottenham, Chelsea and Manchester United in really, really big games at home. We drew away from home against Manchester United and Tottenham. And in both cases, you could argue we probably needed to take three points and should have taken three points in each game. So Unai Emery has showed us to be more competitive uh, and something which we had not seen uh, versus the top six in previous seasons. So improvement there. We did improve to get to the Europa League final and we did improve points wise. We gained seven more points um, even with um, kind of a capitulation at the end of the season like I said versus Brighton, Brighton Crystal Palace, Everton, um, Wolverhampton Wanderers, Leicester. So if the season had stopped at the end of April or at the end of uh, March we would have been in good shape but the season didn't and the uh, the squad sort of deteriorated and dropped dropped in levels. Missed Rob Holding, missed uh, Bellerin and definitely missed Danny Welbeck, who helped the strikers and gave us a little bit more width, something which we are sadly missing in this team. So, uh, and the coaching that Unai Emery has done last season with the new signings, Bern Leno has now established himself as a first choice. Socrates came in and could be experienced uh, defender that we need to help our new signing if and when we do get a new centre back and a new left back, which I think we desperately need. Torreira surely has tripled his value. Um, Torreira, um, Guendouzi has surely tripled his value uh, from uh, 8 million to around 25 million now. So that shows the, the coaching has been pretty good. Uh, the club took a chance on a young player and we're going to have to do more of that this summer. And Torreira, when he was unleashed, uh, on the team having kept Ronaldo Cristiano Ronaldo uh, to a quiet game in the World Cup when Uruguay played Portugal and knocked them out 
Torreira came to us late September till about November. He had really, really good form. And you can see he was a big part of our 22 game unbeaten run. I think he found the Christmas period difficult to deal with as many signings, new signings from the continent do. And uh, took him until into the spring until he regained his form. Um, but overall, four out of five signings last season points to what we need to do next season or this coming summer. Um, this is the final point about Unai Emery. He must be ruthless and the club must be ruthless in moving players on that need to get moved on. Uh, we're coming to a part where Vinay and Raul said there's many, many players that are coming up to two years on their contracts. They need to be either renegotiated or they need to be sold. Uh, in the cold light of day, we need to do what's necessary. Unai Emery uh, failed with this squad and you can't argue any other way. Now, Mahir and I on this channel, we are in full support of the coach going forward. Uh, next season is going to be difficult. We need to, and for that reason, we need to move these players on in this next uh, two to three weeks and bring in new players that we have surely identified by now because the goals for next season will remain what the goals were for last season and having just missed out on the league on numerous occasions you can think of very many many games like the Brighton game away from home that we should have picked up those extra two points uh, West Ham game where we were listless away from home the Southampton game where Kuchelny was surely not up to speed uh, the Tottenham game away and the list goes on and on uh, Crystal Palace at home, Brighton at home, Everton away for all of the bad things and bad results that we got this season, we got a lot of good results as well. Remember the 4-2 home win versus Tottenham, which for me was the highlight of the season. Uh, beating Manchester United at home and beating Chelsea in a Titanic game at home as well. Uh, these players did not turn up in the Europa League final and some of the performances are unforgivable. Unai Emery was livid on the sidelines and you can be sure that he's going to make the right uh, decisions, he's going to move players on and bring the players in that we need to. Now, people will speak to Unai Emery not having a um, style of play yet. I would agree with that and I believe that he was under such pressure to get top four, get that Champions League place that he did not try any of the uh, younger kids into the side so i uh, look for that in this coming season introduce some of the kids bringing the loans back uh reese nelson Mill smith bro which i think who i think is a huge future at arsenal uh joe willock and of course callum chambers whose uh adaptability may be very very beneficial to us so very very important things moving forward from next summer and a lot of it is going to go down the next month. Um, look for a new segment that's going to come out called uh, Gundam News, Mahir's Transfer Market. He's going to talk about um, new transfers that we're looking at. We will just look at realistic transfers um, in the next few weeks and try to give you um, the um, exclusives like Earlier in January of this year, I predicted before anyone else that Aaron Ramsey would indeed um, move on to Juventus. And we're going to miss Aaron Ramsey. But those are the kind of things that we are trying to bring to this channel. A little bit extra, a little bit extra uh, content that you won't see from other channels. Try to set ourselves apart from other channels. Um, so until the next time. Uh, if you have some moments, have a look at the Sunday show that we did. Um, we reviewed Arsenal's full um, season and we also took a look at the Liverpool model and how we can possibly follow Liverpool's um, path. Now, we haven't done a great job of that in the last four or five years. If you look at Liverpool's net spend, it's exactly the same as our net spend but they have just spent better than we did. 
So that's something we really, really need to get better at. But I believe we're on the path. I think we're a year into this process. We signed Bern Leno, we, we signed uh, Torreira, we signed Guendouzi, and that's three good signings to move forward uh, with in this next season coming. Uh, my marks for Una Emery this year, I would give him a seven out of 10. Um, he has got the team playing more competitively and fighting uh, for those points at the top of the table. Uh, negatives against Unai Emery, top four will never be as attainable as it was this past season. And these players um, and the coach did not help the team to get the uh, targets that we needed for this coming season. So targets remain the same, top four, and to go all the way now in the Europa League because we're not in the Champions League. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button right down there. Uh, really, really would appreciate all your support. I know there's a percentage of you uh, just stop by and watch. Uh, hit that subscriber button. Really, really would appreciate it. And uh, the channel will can, can and will grow from that. Until next time.